The Commissioner is keen to ensure a variety of methods are used to communicate and engage with the public on issues of safety, and nowhere is this better exemplified than the Knife Angel. The eight-metre-tall statue was crafted out of 100,000 seized blades to highlight the negative effect of knife crime. Since 2018, the statue has been touring the UK and in January it came to Newtown, its first appearance in Wales. My office have worked with the local community here in Newtown to bring the Knife Angel for the first time to Wales, uh, to Newtown in Powys. And in particular it was a local councillor, Councillor Joy Jones, that uh, had the idea and I was able to support Joy in bringing it here uh, through, in effect, taking responsibility for the Knife Angel during the month of January. Why did we bring it? Well, the main reason was to highlight the ongoing issues in relation to knife crime. We don't have knife crime issues per se in the David Powys area, but it's that prevention message which is so important. And we've worked with community groups and schools uh, and various agencies to deliver that really, really important prevention message to young people about making sure that they don't use violence and that we stand up to violence within our local communities. It's been a great success and uh, I hope that there'll be a legacy now of the Knife Angel here in Newtown. The start of 2020 saw the arrival of COVID-19, a serious threat to our local communities. From day one of this pandemic, the Commissioner has worked closely with the Chief Constable to ensure Duved Powys Police continues to deliver a police service which meets the needs of our communities. This has posed a unique challenge in the many remote rural communities across the region and the Commissioner has been working to ensure that David Powys Police continue to make a big difference in fighting rural crime. He's committed to supporting the rural crime team and welcomed the Chief Constable's recent promise to review rural policing resources. The Commissioner continues to part from the post of Fraud Safeguarding Officers, who coordinates both Operation Signature and the Banking Protocol. Operation Signature supports vulnerable victims of fraud and provides support to protect victims and safeguard them from further targeting. The Banking Protocol is a national scheme between the police and financial sector. It aims to identify bank customers who are in the process of being victimised and to refer them on to Operation Signature. It is vitally important to be able to equip our communities with the knowledge and information to enable them to assist in protecting their own communities from serious threats. The Commissioner will often share key messages, campaigns and information within its newsletter, which can be found on the website and social media. To view all of our annual report videos and to read the Commissioner's report in full, please go to our website.